If you guys are looking to buy cheap and reliable coins, make sure to check out my sponsor, redzonecoins.com. Use code Noble at checkout for 15% off your purchase. Link is in the description. What's up today, my fellow man soldiers? So what I'm gonna be doing in this video is showing you guys how I make millions of coins just by simply playing Madden. There's no secret recipe, there's no investment strategies there's none it's basically just hard work and grinding and stuff like that so if this, this is the type of video you guys want stay tuned if not if you guys want the easy way invest in this card take a risk here the risk there especially now with the way the game's going it's kind of hard to do that because ea surprising us with certain things that are taking place so i will let you guys know at times that certain cards do i, I wouldn't necessarily say invest in but more of the buy soon if you want them on your squad. That's usually what I go through. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. So what got me to make this video, because I don't always go and make videos about money, make uh, coin making methods and stuff like that. But I will do them periodically here and there because people ask me how you got so many coins. I grind all the time. And if you guys see, check out my squad. Um, I just showed it off yesterday. Um, but if you guys didn't tune in, check it out. Everybody on my offense is BND. All my starters. Every single card I got for free. The only one that I bought was Leo Collins, and that was a long time ago. And I only bought him because I have a Cowboy theme team, right? A 50-50 one. That's the only reason I bought him. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it, and I'm not even going to update it um, that much no more. And on my defense, the same thing. I bought DeMarcus Ware. Um, who else? Os Os Osa De uh, Digizua. Darren Bland and Prime just because I have a Cowboy theme team but if it wasn't for that I wouldn't have bought them now I would buy them because they're cheap players now but before when they first came out I wouldn't have bought them because they're going for a lot of coins I won't spend an extravagant amount but I'll spend enough in order to get what players that I want but now I'm not even going to do that no more now but at time like I said now they're cheap so I will get them now however a lot of my players are BND look at even my middle linebacker I've been having Chuck Howley for a while he's actually an 84 uh, Malik Hooker I just got for free. Michael Parsons, Channing Crowder. So anyways, you guys get the point. Majority of my players are BND that I start, and it's a good squad. So I only get players that I really, really want, or if I just need a position and I wait for them to go down in price. So that's how I was able to maintain my coin stack. And not just that, sell certain players when they're about to go down in price and other things. So the first thing you guys are going to want to look at is go to events. We're going to go to the objectives because this is something that people don't realize you can make over 100k a week just by doing the simple task which is it which i haven't done mine today but i'm going to be i'm going to do it today is your daily objectives buy a pack record two sacks record 15 tackles every single day this changes so it's not going to be the same but basically do your daily objectives and once you do your daily objectives does it show right here no it's gonna go right here the milestone you're gonna get a coin quick sell and you're gonna get a strategy item right and for those who don't know i didn't realize for a long time i knew i was getting a lot of coins but i didn't, I didn't realize how much the uncommon strategy cards are going for ten thousand coins and then for your coin uh, coin quick sells you're going quick sells you're getting about four to ten thousand coins um each pool like i'll usually get up to four thousand if not i'll go out and give the ten thousand coins for each uh coin quick sell that i get from the from the other pack so all together i calculated about fifteen thousand a day times seven it's like one hundred and five thousand a week you're gonna get just by just by simply alone doing your daily objectives and leaving it as that and you can even make more coins off your daily objectives but i'm averaging it out just to be fair but you could be also make more coins off it okay so let's go over here to the rewards now then you see right here as i'm grinding i'm not only am i getting packs i'm getting coins so stay tuned real quick because i forgot to tell you guys towards the end of the video i'm gonna go to my item binder and i'm gonna show you guys how much coin quick sells as well as strategy items that i have and how much um that i could quick sell them for right now that i've been doing just to prove to you guys all right so i've been getting coins i've been getting packs and through these packs what i do is if it's if it, if it's an overall of a card that's going for about like 15k and up, I'll sell it. Sometimes even 12k and up, I'll sell it. If it's lower than that, I'll just quick sell it and keep it for training for my squad. So all that, all these little coins that I get, um, it adds up. And there was a few times that I had some good pulls. One of them you guys seen, I pulled uh, Antonio Cromartie, I think at the cornerback. Yeah, I think it was a cornerback. Whatever it was a limited edition. He went for about 800k coins, so I was close to a million coins. And I put I I. 
I sold that card and I, I haven't bought no card since. I just let my coin stack stack up. So this is how I get my coins. Just playing the game, leveling up my pass and so forth. Um, pull some decent cards. If I pull great cards, every card that I, if a card is going for for 300k and up, maybe even 250k. I ain't gonna lie, probably even 100k and up. I'm selling them. I sell them and get rid of them. Uh, um, unless it's just a great card and, it, and, it, and it's going for a cheap value, then I go ahead and keep it. But if it's an expensive card, I get rid of our card that I know is going to go down in value quick. I sell it. I sell it. I don't even, you guys ask me, hey, I, I pulled this card. It's going for 1.5 million. Cause should I save it? No. My answer will always be no. Sell it. I don't care if that's your favorite uh, player in the whole entire world sell it that player is going to do nothing for you until he goes down in value when he goes down in value he's probably going to be only worth about 100k or less so sell any high cards that you got and that's what i do right now at this moment i will even sell demarcus Ware and other players on my squad but they're so cheap that's why i won't do it if they're going for like 500k right now um 300 400k i will sell them right now because they're they're worth this to, to have on the squad for for a card going for that much i don't mind one one card here and there but it just it just certain cards are not just worth it and once again you're gonna get more free packs coins you're gonna get free micah parsons um and you guys get it you're gonna, you're gonna get tons of stuff all right so let's go ahead and back out that's one way let's go to competitive here's another way you see my next reward on my competitive pass right is 25,000 coins and i've been getting quite a few of those i got a red zone pack here we go right here where is it at uh another 25,000 coins um, more packs another 25,000 coins another 25,000 coins <clears throat> 15,000 coins and so forth so you guys get it right there i'm getting tons of coins as i'm leveling up so that's how that, that's how i'm going about getting my coins and not just that i play head to head too i play head to head i like playing head to head more than i do mud champs i only play mud champs now because you, it doesn't require you to win in order to level up your competitive pass so that's why i do it now um and then i, I then i'll get my seven wins which i actually got so i'm just going to show you guys which i actually got now just to complete it so you see right here my competitive pass um, i'm sorry my mud champs competitive pass is all completed the last one was the wins which was seven wins so i was like oh why not go ahead and do it get some extra competitive points why did i do it because i realized that i'm four away four levels away from this 90 overall legends so by the time this week coming up when the when the competitive pass resets i'm going to be able to get this 90 overall free legend and whatever i pull i don't care what it is i'm selling it that's how i get my coins i sell it i'm not keeping i don't care what it is who it is i am selling the card i'm telling you guys right now and if everything goes right, I will re-record that video. But I'm selling the card as soon as I get whatever it is. Because I know it's going to be going for 100k and more. And I don't care for the card. I'm going to sell it. That's what I'm going to do. If it was BND, it would be different. But it is auctionable. So I'm getting rid of it right away. So that's how I go about doing it. Um, head to head. Complete my daily objectives. Daily objectives is a big one that people don't realize. They're, they're, they're not doing every day. And they're missing out on the daily coins that you'll be making every single day just by playing the game and then uh leveling up and so forth so now let's go to my item binder and i'm going to prove to you guys how much stuff that i got on my item binder let's go to sending because it usually gives you guys all your quick sells so let's click on that i'm not gonna quick sell that so these are all my quick sell look at ten thousand sell that what else here's another one right there right there look at and then you got these look at these these uh strategy cards were all free from my from my daily rewards so you see them right here right there right there right there another strategy item i got all this for free i don't buy strategy cards this is really worthless now another free one they're worthless to buy you better off pulling them or if you want like one particular one then go ahead and do it but otherwise I, i've been having the ones i had since day one i'm gonna keep on going down just to see if i have any more it's sad because usually they'll have like where you could click on collectibles, but they don't have that no more. Or do they? Well, they got it, but it, there's not a filter. I mean, apparently it's, there's, it says I have nothing, but I used to be able to access all these cards right away, but it's fine though. Because collectibles, you'd be coins and strategy cards and so forth. This is how I do it. So let's go down. Nothing else right there. I know this is a process, but I want to make sure. So I got this guy. He, this is wasn't free, so I'm not gonna include him in it. But he does go for quite a bit of coins. 
Okay, so that's all of them. So look at how much I got. 167,100 coins. So 160, we'll say 167,000 coins I got just from doing my daily objectives. That's all from doing my daily objectives and daily objectives only. I probably should have quick sold it right there. It really don't matter. But I got that just from doing my daily objectives and I showed you guys right there. So do not miss out on that. Every single coin matters. And my motto is do not leave no coins behind. There's actually coins. It's not a lot, but there's coins from the solos that I haven't completed yet that I'm going to go back and complete on all the stars and get all those coins too. So once again, and then look, you see the candy. I'm saving all the candy because I'm going to see what I'm going to do with it. But that's going to help me make coins too. So I'm getting coins from everywhere. It just all of them add up. I just save it. And whenever I need a card, I go ahead and just get it. But the majority of the cards I have, I get them for free. So anyways, there it is there. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section. Till next time.